a royal repetition. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry don very similar tropical outfits to the ones worn by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in 2012. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex looked radiant on Wednesday as they donned tropical ensembles to visit the University of the South Pacific as part of the Fijian leg of their royal tour. But six years earlier the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wore near-identical outfits in the Solomon Islands as part of their Diamond Jubilee tour. Amazingly, even Prince Charles wore a blue shirt on his tour of West Africa in 1977, with photos showing him biting into a pineapple at the time. Now on the ninth day of their first major international excursion, Meghan Markle sparked joy in the crowd of royal watchers when she appeared in a 2,110 Australian dollars. 1,151 pounds, free to Kahlo inspired silk dress by Parisian brand Fig. Her husband also opted for a brighter color palette when he donned a light blue Hawaiian t-shirt with black trousers and brown brogues. And while the look was given a big thumbs up by fans of the parents-to-be, it seems they've been getting tips from the Duke's older brother and sister-in-law. During the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's Golden Jubilee tour in 2012 the pair wore almost identical clothing, Prince William in a patterned light blue shirt and Kate in a strapless pink and burned orange dress. The two duchesses were even wearing matching wedge espadrilles despite the tours being six years apart. The royals visited the Solomon Islands on that particular jaunt and were welcomed inside the Governor General Frank Kabui's house wearing traditional island clothing. At the time they were representing the Queen and stayed in Singapore, Malaysia, the Solomon Islands and Tuvalu. Meghan's debut of the posy pink gown on Wednesday was met with cheers from the crowd. The dress featured a v-neckline, long sleeves and a symmetrical ruffle hem with pom-poms and seashell detail. She paired the pop of color with the same $147 Castanier canvas wedges pedras she wore to Sydney's Bondi Beach last Friday giving the entire look a bohemian flair. Her hair was arranged by the Duchess personal hairdresser George Northwood and pinned back with some elegant frangipani flowers. In contrast the Duchess of Cambridge wore her luscious locks loose and slightly curled in the humid conditions of the Solomon Islands over half a decade ago. Following the morning's university visit, the couple parted ways to fulfill their solo duties. The Duke traveled to Kolo I Suva Forest Park while the Duchess went to the British High Commissioner's residence for tea. On Thursday, they will reunite and travel to the city of Nadi in western Fiji, where they will attend a special event at Nadi Airport. After an official welcome ceremony, the Duke and Duchess will unveil a new statue commemorating Sergeant Deleiasi Labalab. He was a Fijian member of the elite British Special Air Service. SAS, who single-handedly held off 250 attackers from taking an army base 46 years ago. Lab Alaba, renowned as one of the SAS's greatest heroes, gave his life in an epic struggle to defend his fellow soldiers at the Battle of Murbat, in what is now Yemen, in 1972. From Nadi Airport, their royal highnesses will take a chartered flight to Tonga. The visit to Fiji and Tonga is part of a mammoth 16-day tour which also includes Australia and New Zealand.